launching our EV uh, by end of this year. And I agree with Mr. Ghosh where he said that uh, uh, the, uh, we are on that cusp. I think the tipping, we are reaching a tipping point where it's not only EV for EV's sake, it's going to be a very important part of the whole ecosystem of transition, what's happening. So I'm happy that we're in the forefront um, yeah, and we have the technology, we have partnership with the best uh, battery manufacturer of CATL of China. Uh, and so we are going to bring that to India. I would like to believe our car is going to be uh, a globally acclaimed car first time in India, which people haven't seen so far. Our first launch has been Hector, which is in the price range of around 12 lakhs to 17 lakhs uh, at showroom basis. Uh, our EV, uh, the next product EV is not going to be cheap. Uh, it's going to be in the range of 20 lakhs to 25 lakhs. Uh, but a decent size SUV. Uh, and then we are lining up more products. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure to be a significant player in the country, you need to come into more affordable uh, price range as you, as, you, as you just said. So step at a time, uh, it's definitely there on our radar. Uh, it will come at the right time. I think there's quite a buzz now around the EV. Uh, whoever some customers who know that we are going to come have shown a lot of uh, uh, inquisitiveness and they are asking us lots of questions. Uh, so there is, there is some kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, hope uh, and, and uh, we are also trying to get into more educational space right now to, to tell people about the whole car, the battery, myths of EV, life cycle management, the safety side of battery. Uh, the range anxiety, the charging infrastructure, so a whole lot of issues. So, so we all have to go through this learning curve uh, and this will evolve. Uh, I'm happy that uh, you know, we are part of this initial uh, revolution or the transformation uh, and, and we don't have 100% uh, solution right now. We don't have all the answers right now, but at least we need to start. So I'm happy that we are going to start. When you do any transformation, any change, uh, sometimes you don't have all the answers. Now, there are two kinds of, uh, if, I, if, I, if I oversimplify my answer to your question, that either we wait for the perfect day for a perfect solution, and we can say that because charging infrastructure is not there, infrastructure is not there, right, uh, players are not there in the ecosystem, and we can wait for that perfect solution, means wait for another four, five, six years or be part of this change and collaborate with the right partners along with the government and other stakeholders and you make a start. So we believe in this kind of a thing that let's make a start and, and there is no perfect timing and we will evolve together. So some consumers I'm sure will uh, love to try this out and, and we will do our best to provide them the charging infrastructure at their place, at our dealer's place, at some highly frequented places in the city so that they are not, they don't get stuck on the road for lack of battery. So, so we are planning with stakeholders. I'm quite confident uh, with the kind of product what we are going to offer because consumers haven't seen in India, uh, in India, that kind of stuff. So I'm sure it's going to be appreciated. So likewise in EV, if you have a good EV product, my feeling is there would be a lot of takers. Obviously good product means good technology, good range, good price, and also some peace of mind in terms of infrastructure. So if the whole proposition is compelling, there would be some, there would be a lot of takers.